All right, match two, we'll definitely keep this. Opponent is mulliganing. Started off with a satyr. One uh, one lander seems a bit too dangerous. Although if we get our second land, we're golden. Twenty one remaining lands in deck. Uh guess we try it. I'm not happy about it. To get our second land. Not quite the one I was hoping for. So I guess we'll play an arsonist here. Alright. There it goes. Okay. So this is actually pretty good for us now. So we'll do our emissary. Add our mana. And then we drop the Rage Forger. Pump team. And get in. Yeah, it's matches like these where you know Blood Moon really is a, just a straight-up necessity in this format, I think. It's a crazy little combo thing he's got going on. So, he does actually have one mana of any color. Something to note. Uh, let's play our Muta Vault. Let's play a stone right. Let's soul bond it up with the arsonist. Let's activate a mutavault using a mutavault and let's proceed to swing in So he has to block like that. We get to pump Arsonist, bring him to one. 
And then with between Arsonist being out and double Mutavolt, I would say it's got to be tough for him to beat that. I don't know how the hell he's... He, I guess if he gains a bunch of life. Yeah. I don't know how he would have come back from that, though. Okay. So Urzatron, I'm assuming he's... I mean, we already know he's definitely got some artifacts in there. Um, those Vidalcan guys are artifact permanents, too. I think we got to bring the smashes in. Uh, Pillar does hit the sculptors, but so does the smash, and so does the bolts. So we can swap. We can make that swap. And, uh, he just gets into Emrakul, right? That's like his game plan. Let's just, let's try it like this. I don't think there's anything else I need. He's probably got Batter Skull, but we got Smash for that too. All right, let's try it. All right, this is a great hand. We've got real plays. We don't have the combo in hand, but that's okay. There we go. Perfect. So we'll do initiate, turn two, emissary, emissary, maybe a one drop if we draw it. All right, so he's one away from the mine. Arsonist, well, that's pretty good. So we're going to go for it here. Only getting in for one this turn, but next turn's a pretty mighty swing. Okay. If I can get in one swing, I'm going to feel pretty good. Alright, let's make sure that this guy does not get countered. Although, uh, not even, at this point, I'm not even sure if they're running counters. Alright, bring him to five. We have Bolt in hand, and we have an Arsonist out, and a Mutavolt, so he does have some real work to do here. He's got to board wipe us, and then he's got to... I see. That's a good little engine. So he can keep drawing cards and adding two to his mana pool to bring back the... That's cool. This deck looks crazy. So it's, it's probably similar to like the eggs deck that was in. That's cool. This guy's crazy. I might as well just F6. Sculptor, okay. I'm interested to see how the the game plan here. I mean, obviously, he's just going to draw a bajillion cards, but I want to see... I want to see how he wins this turn, or... or what the, what the exact plan is, I guess. Definitely looks cool and combo-ish. 
Yeah, this is actually why I don't like Modern. Uh, modern, I, I feel like Modern is just really for that combo player. This is like, if you're if you're a combo player at heart, I cannot think of a better format for you than, than Modern. This is like, I feel like they just cherry-picked decks to make it combo-ish, you know? But, uh, and, and there there's definitely going to be some people that just love it because there's just, you know, some people just love playing combo, but it is totally just not my style at all. So that's kind of why I've always been kind of turned off to Modern since its inception. That, and I didn't like the the whole sanitizing of the, oh, it's just Immerical. I see. Okay. Pyroclasm and then Immerical. But uh, this, I was saying the sanitization of this format where they were like, well, this deck was obnoxious, so we'll ban this card. I don't like, uh, you know, this deck was too powerful, so we'll ban this card. But all it's really done is it's just basically made the format where, you know, it's like they've arbitrarily decided, okay, Deceiver Exar combo is okay, but uh, people don't want to play, you know, play against like Blood Braid Elf. So let's get rid of that. So it's I don't know I I think it was it was definitely well intentioned but I'm not, I don't know I I just feel like modern didn't uh, exactly pan out the way I would have liked it to have but that's okay I mean maybe it's more diverse than I'm giving it credit for I think the issue was there's a lot of oh I didn't even see what he killed us with finally uh, Banefire okay on turn four. So it's just straight combo with artifacts. So yeah, I still feel like Smash is going to be a good card to have. Um, he doesn't have life gain, so Skullcrack's a little less important. Shatterstorm seems good, but he does it all in one turn, so I'm not even sure Shatterstorm's the right choice. I think it's too slow. Let's do a Skullcrack instead of a Pillar? No, I guess we do need to kill the Sculptor. That makes sense. All right. Let's try this again. We'll play first. Another one of these hands, huh? We gotta do better than that. Alright, let's do this one. May have to do turn two Harbinger failing to search, but if I get the land here, I'm gonna feel really good. Well, land here and we're looking really good. Beautiful. If there's any way I can stick a second Rage Forger before he resolves a Pyroclasm. Now, there's his Pyroclasm mana. Yeah. Looks like that's it. He's got it. Alright, so... Didn't want that to happen, but full well knew that going in, that that was going to be a big deal. So now hopefully we see a creature, that'd be nice. Nope. So um, we're in a big hurry, so unfortunately we're going to just play a empty, we're going to play a Grey Ogre.
Uh, deciding whether I wanted to bolt it or not. I think I do. It's too much of an enabler. Alright, we'll bolt it. Play our animosity and pass. That was a pretty good draw. Looks like it's going to be a repeat of the last game. So, uh, Mulligan, and he saw the Pyroclasm. Unfortunate. But uh, despite us mulliganing and him having the Pyroclasm, we were actually close to winning this game, believe it or not. But, uh, nope, looks like we are going to lose it. But I guess we'll make him do it. I don't even know why I'm not F6. I don't have any cards in hand. But yeah, I guess we'll let him just do all his stuff until he kills us. Maybe I won't have to, I won't make you guys endure it unless, well, maybe you want to watch it. Maybe you have some sick interest in this, this sort of combo shenanigan that I have no interest in. Alright, I'll just pause it. All right, so a bunch of stuff and repeat the last game. All right, so uh, pretty pretty bad loss. Lost again. Same deal. Card we're flimsy against. Still flimsy against it. Uh, man, I don't know. I'm not feeling good about this Grand Prix. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you guys that much. I am probably gonna have to end up playing something really lame, but I'm I'm hoping I don't have to. <laughs> 